Coming to you from southernmost zero mile Key West, baby. It's hot. You people up in the States don't even know heat. Not even in August. You don't know heat. Last night, you could have been full naked, slept outside all night long, and been a-sweating. And today, it is roasting down here, and I dig it. Ain't no Jennies wearing no clothes. That bottom part of that kini goes straight up their butt. And if you even call that top part a kini, I mean, come on. Why are we naked? It's hot, people. <laughs> now, I promise you silvers, I'm going to roll silver today, and I'm going to go ahead and give it to you, okay? Now, I'm going to roll this as I've been rolling silver before the bug. I'm not changing what I say, and I'm not changing what I do. However, when I'm finished rolling silver the way I roll silver for the last two years, I will add a verse on the end. While I believe, what it was it, David Allen Coe? Now, I had believed that I written the perfect country song. And I show it to a friend of mine, and he listened to it, and he said, well, I don't know if you can call that the perfect country song. You ain't said nothing about mamas, or trains, or getting drunk, or the rain. So I went back, and I went ahead and wrote one more verse, and it goes something like this. Well, I was drunk the day my ma got out of prison. And I went to pick her up in the rain. But before I got to the station in my pickup truck, she got run over by a damned old train and i'll hang around as long as you will let me darling i never minded standing in a rain now i'm gonna do something like that for you silvers I'm going to go ahead and roll silver the way I roll it, but I'm going to go ahead and add a verse on the end of it. Now, silvers, let me get at you, okay? All right? I want to start by saying this. Your retirement is not in your home. You believe it is. You've had this dream with you and her, how it's going to be. You're probably going to go ahead and cash in an IRA and spend 100 k on your house, redoing it and everything perfect, perfect. It is not going to be what you believe it is going to be. What you're going to do is you're going to end up sitting around this year, then next year, then the year after that, you're going to start slowing down. Your bodies are going to start slowing down. Your organs are going to start slowing down. Well, hell, man, he ain't breathing no more. Let's just shut one lung down. He ain't peeing no more. Let's just go ahead and shut a kidney down. We ain't using it. Why would we? This muscle started hurting. We don't use it no more. Let's just shut it down. Your body is just going to slow down, and your body's going to stop, okay? You believe that everything that you have dreamed about is inside that house. Marge. Henry, Henry, turn up your hearing aid. I'm talking to you, boy. I'll get you 10 more year of orgasms. You listen to me, Silvers. 10 more year. You believe that your retirement and that home is going to be your everything. It's not. These littles are moving in the neighborhood, Henry, Marge. That beautiful tree that's on that property next to yours, them silver's going to cut it down. Sun going to roast your garden, and you ain't going to have them vegetables the way you've always had them. They tearing down that house across the street, they got to build a $1.5 million house over there. Good God, would you look at the size of that house. 
All your silver friends have either passed or moved out of the neighborhood. You're going to stick that 100K in that house thinking that's where it's at. And then you're going to move out of that house. And you ain't going to get that 100,000 back out because that's what you wanted. The, the littles that are moving in your house and buying it don't want that. You're not going to get it back out of it. You probably get the most out of your house right now without doing that. Now here what you... Marge, will you turn up his Henry... Her, turn up his hearing aid. Yeah, over here, Henry. Did you hear me? What did he say, Marge? Did he say something about orgasm? Yeah, Henry. Boners. Remember them? You gonna get out of that house Saturday, get yourself all ready. Marge, I know you got the hip on the left and I know Henry got the knee on the right. Y'all just stay close to each other and lean up against each other. You hear me? As long as you can get up, as long as you can move them bodies, that's what you do. You move them bodies. Now you get yourself down to your RV dealer. Marge, that's a recreational vehicle dealer. Those great big houses that roll down the road. Yes, get to an RV dealer. They're going to let you play. Oh, hell, we got in that great big one, and Henry was running over everything in the parking lot. Got in this little bitty Winnie they got, and I was kicking toes, and damn, it way too small. But we found something that's pretty good for us about midway. Okay? Just under 100000 They showed us how we can take the vehicle that we just got done buying, put some kind of pump on it, and all Henry got to do is hook it up just like it's a trailer and pull it right behind us. Okay? Now that house you got, all right, you get yourself a realtor to come out, bring you some comps about what have been a selling in your neighborhood the last maybe 12 months. That's where the market is right now, okay? They're going to show you some other stuff comparable that your house been selling for. Now, they might tell you something, you know, we probably ought to do one, maybe put some paint on this front porch. But all that stuff you're talking about, you're just not going to get your money back out of it. They're going to tell you they know they do it every day. They do it every day. And they're going to let you know maybe where you're at in your house. You might want to even talk to financial planner if that's if you got that stuff put away, if you got them CDs and them IRAs. Take a good good look at what's going on. Talk to the kids. Don't try to do something around them because they're going to try to block you. All right? You got all that stuff up in that house, and I know you call it antiques, Marge. It's an antique because you owned it forever, honey. It's just old to everybody else. All right? But if you got expensive jewelry and, and, and hutches and cabinets and whatever, you get yourself a hold of an antique auction house, they're going to come out and tell you where they're at. They're going to tell you wholesale. Well, we could get more than that. Yeah, and you got to put an ad in the newspaper, and all them people come rummaging through your house. Good Lord knows what else they're looking for while they're there. And are you even going to get rid of it? Well, they got that place, and they have that overhead, and they have the people that come buy that stuff, and they are going to get the highest market out of your stuff that they can. So they're going to be able to give you the highest market that they can give you on your stuff. And it's finished. You ain't even got to pick it up and move it. I tell you and I tell you about how you're not taking that crap on with you that's in your head. You don't. I died in the desert. All that crap in your head, academics and everything, stays behind. It is what is in your soul, locked up in your soul that you take with you when you pass and you go on with it. Well, give some of that stuff away, Marge. That's how you lock it up in your soul. That little girl down the street that you watch being born and she's 16 now, she always coming by asking you questions and this and that, always looking at that brooch you got, give it to her, Marge. It only worth $300. Do you have any idea the value that's going to give you in your soul when you give it to that little? You take a real good look at where you are. Why? Because you get that RV, you get a hold of, and you join up with some motor coach associations, associations, motor coach here, AA here, this, that. They have their rallies. You get to know other people and looking forward to see them in Shelbyville, Indiana. 
You hit the coast. You hit the east coast. You get your ass on down here to Boyd's RV park just outside of town and spend some time down in the Keys. Look at that coral reef. Rent yourself a golf cart and run around like you little again. Henry! Henry! That is you and Marge at Boyd's at night on top of that picnic table doing the hibbity-jibbity. Get your ass up. Get out of that house and you go while you can still go. You would have built your body up so strong that if a bug come around, you got the strength to kick its ass and shit it out. You travel around, you travel around, now maybe it's time to go ahead and shut that RV down. Well, maybe you know where it's going to be. Because if you think them littles are coming to that silver home and seeing you where it smells like poo and hot as hell inside them places, they ain't. And if they do, it's for two seconds and they're in and out. And you're lucky if you remember their name and, and that. They're gone because they got lives. Now, let me tell you something, Marge. Are you hearing me? Henry, Homeowners Association across the United States, they kind of turn a blind eye to their rules. Come about a couple months during the holiday about them RVs sitting in driveways where your kids and your grandkids live. You parked right up next to that house and your son and your daughter and your grandchildren. They taking you to their school. They showing you their locker. That's his girl he wish. Telling you those stories because they want you to be proud of them and they want you to see the life that they're living. There you are, Marge, right next to that window. Look up there. Marge, look up there. That top window, there he is. What is he, 13 now? Dang. He done rushed out of the shower, got that towel on his head, hair all messed up. Where'd he go? Boom! He's right inside of your RV, smelling like your clean 13-year-old grandson. You know what that do to a grandma? Do you know what that do to a grandma? Playing them games. When you back at that RV dealer, Marge, you get Wi-Fi in the wiring harness. Because if you go back and buy one without it and you try to add Wi-Fi, it's way, way too expensive. And it doesn't work as well. You get Wi-Fi inside of the wiring harness because those littles, you know how they are about their electronics. They're going to want to hook up while they're inside of your RV. Henry, 10 more years use out of your body 10 more years use out of your wiener boners henry that's what i'm talking about 10 more year orgasms why because you got to get out you got to put the chalks under the wheels you got to set her favorite doilies and this and that up you got to put that crap across the front window you got to set up your table the way she wants it and then you move on and do it again, and you move on and do it again, and you see this beautiful nation. How many times you left your town, Henry? How many times? You finally decide it's time to settle down and you can't get going no more? Well, maybe you want to be in this... Maybe you want to be in Key Haven right over here. Good Lord, people. Key Haven. That is Haven. It's Haven, people. <laughs> it is Haven. Okay? These 70-year-old women down here look like they're 50. There's something down here in the Keys that get up inside you. I'm telling you, every day I turn around and I'm 67. No, girl, I'd make the crap out of you. I would wreck that ass. I would wreck that ass. Something going on down here. That's what happened when you get up out of that house. That house is not going to give you what you want, Silver's. You do what I tell you. You 65-year-old, your ma, she 90. You get a pair of Bose headsets and you put it on her while she's still talking to you. Still got memory, still got what she got going. Okay? 
you go back and you go all the way Pandora, all the way back to when she was in high school and you start pulling that music out that she would have bebop to or whatever be, sock hopping, all right? Big, big mopping, whatever she was into. And you started getting that in her, and next thing you know, she started telling you stories right there, right there. Something, 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 Billy underneath the bleachers. Billy? Mom, that ain't Grandpa's name. Oh, no, this was before your Grandpa. He was just something else, man. He just twist me. Mom! And then she get to fading, and she don't talk like that no more. You just get that set of bows, and you go ahead and kick that song right in there again. And watch you pull her back. I know what I'm talking about. Watch you pull her back. Silvers, I love you. My grandfather, I was the last person to see him in the, in the home. I went down Christmas Eve, and he was sitting at a table when I got there, and it's dark in there, and everybody shut down, everybody shut down, all right? Nurses come out and give them that pate on the spoon. I think they just put, like, cocaine and peanut butter or something, some et cetera, because he old pepped up real quick. <laughs> it's peppy pills or whatever they put in that pate that he gave him. He got this nasty look on his face, but, boy, he kicked right in. Coffee, I don't know what's in that. Next thing you know, we jaw, and me and my grandpa, we get at it, okay? We ain't quiet one bit. Frank, he was the Frank of all Franks. He'd be grabbing ass on them little Jenny nurses right to the end. He, 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 Frank. That was Frank, okay? We get to jawing at that big old round table. There are about seven, eight chairs around it, and these old folk, they started coming out of their room and sitting all around that table. And he'd been in there for two years with them. And this one talking about he did this and manufacture. I never knew where Grandpa Paul's like, I never knew that. And I've been here for two years. And they start talking about shit that they never talk about before. I love you, Silvers. You Silvers are what made us. And there's so much knowledge inside you that, that littles, littles. That silver hair, that's knowledge. Just like a Rustafarian got them big old fat buds. All right coming down behind them well the knowledge that they learn the jamaican and the rustafarians the knowledge that they learned is in that piece of hair when that piece of hair was growing you find you a rustafarian with them big old fat buds down to their butt that is knowledge you walk up to them and say may i have knowledge please and they will give it to you and that's the same with our silvers May I have knowledge, please. The Piggly Wiggly ain't got no food no more since this damn bug. Could you please teach me how you can that stuff and put it downstairs in your basement? Now you got food when everybody else don't have. Ma never taught me how to can. Would you teach me how to can, Silvers? Do you feel me, Littles? Your knowledge is in them Silvers. I love you, Silvers. My grandpa, I had to move him out of his house up at the A-frame and all his outbuildings and everything when he needed to. He needed somebody to watch him a little closer, and there's a golf course right up there. Lamont Hill there, Kansas, uh, Pomona, okay? There's a lake there. He'd get up in one of them trailers right there on the golf course. He can't really get around the golf course no more. His son come down, get him out on the golf cart, go ahead and take that eight hole, you know, and he still get to go up there and eat the restaurant, all his friends, and he keep on going as long as he can. Well, it's hard on a person to get rid of that stuff out of your house, and Lord knows he was all over me. I was the only one up there doing it, okay? His garage and everything that he was in life, his golf shoes and everything. I tried to keep the best of the best of the best. We get him a little storage unit there right at the golf course, maybe a 10 by 10 where we keep a little bit of him. he get to go down there if he want to and, that, and rummage through his crap when he want to. He got a golf cart. Get around. I'm down there in that storage unit, and I got a poo. <laughs> people this is absolution i'm telling you silvers i'm telling you absolution out of my soul right now okay i am i got a poo and i'm not gonna go up to the restaurant and go so i grab a big old five five pound coffee can dump some nails out of it that paul the grab all got you know you know and uh and I go ahead and do my business in that coffee can, and I'm laughing, and I'm laughing, and I'm laughing. I'm going to just put this lid on, and I'm going to set it right over here, because Grandpa's going to get down in here in a couple months or something, and he's going to lift that up. Oh, what are you going to do to Grandpa, right? That's a bomb right there. I planted a bomb on my Grandpa. I deuced in that can and left it there. He never touched it. It come time, we got to get him into the VA Silver home up in Warrensburg, Missouri. Well, I got to go clean that unit out. I opened that damn can myself two years later. 
Do you know what poo smell like two years later? I hurled outside right there and I opened that Trojan horse on myself, people. I love my grandpa, the Frank of all Franks. My grandma, Ermitha Jane, lost her a good 40 years before she needed to go. We ran commercials back then. While you're cleaning your dishes with palm olive, look how slender your hands look with that Virginia Slim in it. You will feel so much better and your dishes will be so, so much cleaner if you will just use palm olive and smoke a Virginia Slim. I lost my grandma a long time ago. Now let me add a little bit to what I say. There's more bugs coming, people. And the only way you're going to beat these bugs is not hiding like rats in your house, but build your bodies up and be one of the first to want to go get that bug, deal with it, shit it out, so you get to keep living life. Silvers, your retirement is not in your home. You're there right now and you're stuck like rats and your bodies are slowing down. Get your ass to an RV dealer. Talk to people about your house. Talk to your littles. You don't have to do anything. Why don't you just play the game and see what it's like to do what I say and play the game. Talk about your your furniture with the estate liquidator. Just have them come in and tell you, okay? Your littles are already grieving because they lost you, and now they got to come over for two years and deal with your shit in your house, and they cry every time they come over. You all clean up your own crap, you hear me? Don't you put that on your littles. I love you, Silvers. I love you. I love my grandpa, and I love my grandma, and they both gone now. I still got my other set, still in Dawn. She's 99 years old and she's still at it. She probably weighs about 60 pounds now. You get littler. I don't know how that works, but you get littler. Benjamin Button or something. Little Stella, she's just going and going. And I will hang around as long as you will let me. Darling, I never minded standing in the rain. Son of a bitch, dude, you gotta come back down. Yeah, we pretty strong today. My head just gonna blow up like Travelocity. Purple gonna shoot out. It's been two years I've been trying to do this, and I had to fight the whole world to do it. The whole world. <laughs>